Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, today what I want to do is a review on LCR meters. <laughs> That's what I want to do, and I will. I'll release that video later. This video is about batteries, okay? <sighs> All right, so if you've had a meter, you know, an old meter you've had sitting around for a while, or some other kind of device, uh, you know what happens. You should remove those batteries before you let them sit around for years, right? because there's a chance the batteries could leak, right? And that's what I want to talk about. I want to ask you guys what your experience is on batteries, okay? Now, one thing I do is I have a couple of these uh, low-cost meters. I've reviewed these. I'm going to put a link down below. They're really inexpensive. They have third-party uh, safety testing, which is amazing at the price, under, right around 20 bucks or under 20 bucks. Uh, anyway, this is the Nova. And I like these because when you when you have specific battery uh, mode or test, it's different than just testing DC voltage because it tests the DC voltage, but it also puts a load. And like this one has four different battery sizes, so to put four different loads depending on the battery. Okay, so it's nice to have one of these to really, you know, tell whether your battery is good, bad, or ugly. <laughs> Anyway, I want to just bring the camera over, uh, show you what I found when I got ready to do this video, and ask you guys what your experiences are with batteries and which brands and things like that, okay? I want to see if you found what I've seen, and um, anyway, let's bring the camera over and we'll talk. Oh, and by the way, sometimes it's not a meter that sat around for a long time, like this LCR meter, I use it every so often. It just goes through batteries like crazy. It has six of them in there. This guy, same way. I go through batteries like crazy in these meters. These big old uh, meters. For some reason, they just go through the double A's like nuts. So that's one reason I don't like to use that meter over there. And uh, But this LCR meter, that's another reason why I got a second LCR meter to kind of replace that one. So because of the battery problem. Let's come over here and I'll show you. Well, I, this is a different problem, uh, but it's related, it's batteries. Let's come over and take a look. All right, so before we get started, let's go ahead and change out the batteries in this. I've taken the battery compartment off. You can see it has, you can see it has four screws here and it has these little foam pieces that with the ribbing on the plastic to make it stiff, but the foam pieces hold the batteries so they don't move around. And this just kind of sinks into the back. Let me show you. Just kind of sinks down in here, and we can take this off easy enough. And it doesn't fall off easy. It stays on pretty good, so I wasn't even sure it came off easy like that. But here's the battery, Duracell, the gold tops. Now, what do you guys think of these batteries? Uh, you see the corrosion down here and right here? As soon as I took the top off, I saw those two. So, at least this battery and that battery has been leaking a little bit. You know, I, I'm going to replace these with some more Duracell Gold Tops because that's what I have right now. But I think I'm going to switch out to a different battery because uh, these haven't been in there all, all that long and they're already leaking. Alright guys, so I thought what I'd do is I'd use the heel key, which, by the way, it's getting close to changing the battery on this one as well. If I go down here and touch this, so you got about one volt on that cell. About one. I just want to see how even they are, because um, unless I have a bad battery, they should all be pretty even, which they all look like they're around one volt. Now, if I go turn this on, put a little bit of load on this. Yeah, it won't even turn on. <laughs> but if I could turn it on, it would uh, pull those charges down a little bit. All right, and that's why I keep one around one of these uh, type of meters like this, the Nova 3320, that has the battery test. Now, the interesting thing about this little tester it's actually UL listed, which is quite amazing at the low price. I, I want to say it's around 15 or 20 bucks. These are uh, really low cost meters. 
with third-party testing. Well, it's saying one volt, and it's got a question mark. It's not red, but the CEM doesn't like it. Okay, I've taken out the other four batteries that were in great shape, except for just being dead. Yeah, you can see the corrosion there. This end looks fine, but this has leaked out on this, so now I have to clean this guy. And, yeah, if you see that one, same kind of thing. So both these cells, just interesting enough, in series on this chain, uh, these guys, these guys, the way that the plates look, it looks like they're all in series. So, yeah, it's just interesting that two next to each other both leaked. All right, guys, so, yeah, not bad. Only one of the batteries was contacting a spring, so just a little bit of contamination I have to clean off. And when you see the board here, I, I like to see battery compartments isolated from the uh, board, so in case something like that happens. But really, when the door goes down, it is uh, sealed from this compartment. So, so that's a nice design. Uh, one thing, uh, this company, you can see the PIMS for the door to be screwed down. They do do a nice job with their uh, housings. They build really quality meters. I spray a little uh, isopropyl alcohol on it and and then just use a cotton swab. And yeah, it hasn't been on there very long, so it hasn't curled to the metal. It's just the junk from the battery sitting on it so yeah that's going to clean up sometimes they're curled so bad you have to get you know knife something sharp to uh, kind of file off the corrosion on the metal but this one's cleaning up really easily all right so this is really interesting uh, here's my package of you know batteries here double a batteries and let me just tear the let me just tear this plastic away so I can fold this open and show you the beautiful shape these batteries are in. Like how many of them are corroding. I mean that is just terrible. I think I'm going to have to throw this whole carton away. I mean, back here on my bench over behind me, a couple of them fell out that had corrosion on them. And, yeah, I didn't, don't have anything to pick them up right now, so I'm just showing you. So I knew what I was going to see when I opened this. I knew I was going to see others. Yeah, there's one. There's definitely one here that's bulged out. It looks like there's, like, bulgy spots on a few of these. God, this is just a terrible pack holy cow I mean the one here the ones that fell out back here on this other bench some of these oh those guys are stuck together so this one here leaked for sure yeah what do you guys think rescue the ones that look clean or taught I mean the acid looked like it's just kind of, it's it's down here on this what otherwise looks like a clean one yeah, I can't tell if they're all leaking or if some of them just outgassed and just spread all their junk everywhere. But that is nuts. Well, I'm not buying Duracell copper tops anymore. Yeah, here's, uh, here's one of the ones that just fell out of the package. I think there's another one back here look these batteries say they're good for March 2014 this one I'm just curious if this one's actually you know maybe I'll take a battery tester and test some of these but maybe I can uh, at least use some for this review but these batteries probably came out of that box no nope, these are 2025 and, you know, these have a different, see, it's all uh, white. 
December 2025. Huh, that's interesting. These have a kind of a gold label. Looks really different. The, these have the silver bands, and these have, uh, they don't have the silver bands. So these have some, uh, the one on the right here, the one I took out of the meter, has some Chinese writing on them where these do not. It says pure alkaline and this one does not say the one I just took out of the meter just says alkaline here. Alright, so I had to take a closer look. Uh, they both say they're made in the USA. This one in the silver band says Duralock. So, do uh, you guys know the difference between these? Copper top and copper top that says Duralock because if Duralock means they're not supposed to leak I had two of those leak and these look like a number of them are leaking uh, let me get the tester alright guys so I've got this thing set up at 1.5 volts it should put a small load so we get a good reading 1.5 that looks like a good reading Pretty close to 1 5. 1 5. Now, some of these, I'm, like this one right here, is leaking. And it's just barely under 1 5. Wow, that one's crazy. Okay, there we go. Some of them are right at 1 5. And then some are just slightly below, and this one's really bad. And look at that, it still has a charge on it. It's kind of all over the place, but... Wow, this one is leaking so bad. It... Look at that, though. It still tests good if you find a spot to get metal. Well, you know, they're mostly are testing 149, 15, 148. There's a good 15. 149. So I can, I can visually see, you know, some have uh, broken their seals, like this one. That one for sure, the one that fell out of the package is right on top. This one for sure. That was just next to it, so maybe it's okay. That one's a bad one for sure. Looks like it's a negative end that they leak out of. Man, it's got stuff all over, but... I think it's from the other batteries that leaked. That one looks like it's broken the seal too. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really like to trust any of these batteries since there's so many of them. But it just seems, to, as far as I can tell, I haven't really tracked these batteries. But, I th uh, but you know, having two in the meter and two of another batch. So I've got, you know, three here. I got four in this package that are bad for sure. All right, guys. I found six cells. Uh... They're actually the only six cells I really, when I went back through, that came out 1.5. Had some others that were real close, like 1.499, and you know, but anyway, these guys came right at 1.5. They're the six that matched. So I'll put them in for now, and I may just get another package of batteries and replace these. But this does go through batteries pretty quick. Maybe after this review, it'll be ready to replace them anyway.
you know, I started putting this on and I realized that's why this thing doesn't come out because when the battery's in, it has this wall that holds those things against the wall. So that's why it's in so tight. So yeah, put the stand on before you put the door back on. All right, so with the door on, then this guy goes in and you can see how it holds in there nice and tight. So that's why I've never had a problem with that door coming out. And you can see how tight this all see, you know, seals up. They make very nice packages, very nice cases. Nice finger grab to easily lift that door, but it stays in there nice and snug. And there we go, works. All right, guys, so what do you think of that? Uh, have you had similar problems with the copper tops? I, I haven't had a lot of experiences or bad experiences, but it seems like I've seen kind of a trend, and, and maybe it's just my bad luck with a certain brand, and maybe they're all like that, but it just seems like they should be doing this, and it seems like there's a material they could put in the battery compartment to absorb some of that stuff so it doesn't leak out. They could do something to you know, keep from leaking because, you know, there's other batteries you've seen around forever and they never leak. So I don't know what the deal is with these, but let me know what you guys think. Is this just a, an anomaly or is this kind of a common issue with uh, this battery in particular or just double A's? I don't think so, but what do you guys think? And also, what are your preferences on how you clean corrosion? Usually, you know, sometimes I get baking soda, helps clean up. I've done different things, but something like this where these batteries haven't been in this meter for that long, so I didn't think that corrosion was going to be terrible, so I felt like alcohol would be enough, and yeah, it cleaned it up real nicely, so in this case, that's all I needed, but what do you guys think? <sighs> I hate to bash on a brand, but I've always trusted this. And it sucks that, you know, I bought a whole package and uh, I don't know how good they are. I'm afraid to put them in a meter. You know, you have a meter that's not cheap. And, uh, I mean, what if I put them in my, you know, $700 meter back there? I mean, that would really suck, right? So, um, yeah, it's not a good thing, right? That's another thing, by the way. $700 meters... They should have rechargeable batteries. Give me a freaking break. Why are we putting alkaline batteries in four, five, six, seven hundred dollar handheld meters? That's nuts. Now, these meters aren't those prices, of course, but I'm talking about the yellow one back there. Um, got a meter beeping at me. It's time to go. <laughs> hey, I want to thank my patrons. I'm so appreciative of all my patrons and all you guys watching the videos. But later today, I'll have the review out, okay? And uh, maybe you got a chance to uh, comment and say what you like me to measure. And maybe I'll still be working on the video when I see comments on this video. <laughs> Alright guys. Hey, we'll see you later. Uh, thanks for watching.